good morning friends and students today we are going to learn the very important and application oriented subject is known as the decision making process this is very much important in the management information system to run the organization systematically everywhere in the organization whether you can say it is internal part or it is external part the decision has to be taken at various levels and the problem has to be solved at any cost so there should be a systematic procedure you can solve the problems with the help of the decision making process the learning objectives of this process are describe how critical thinking skills are used in decision making and second learning objective is state how decisions relate to problem solving the process of making decisions the logical stepwise approach that is used to make a choice between options to solve a problem or to resolve resolve a dilemma the seven steps are included in this decision making process the first step the problem identification second establishment of decision making criteria third weighing of decision making criteria identifying alternatives analyzing alternatives making the decision implementing the decision and evaluating the outcome the first step a problem identification it's very important that internal environment of the organization has to be scanned consistently and once the scanning completes the problem identification stage starts the first step in the decision making process is the problem identification it is the act of finding a problem and acknowledging that it exists problem means a difference between what is and what should be example in our case a nutrient analysis software in a clinical nutrition department needs upgrade means what this nutrition department is having one software that consists of all specification required for the nutrient analysis and the respective analysis can be done with the help of the available information but as the time upgrades the time needs demands that this software is insufficient its internal specifications are insufficient so the department wants to upgrade their nutrient analysis software the criteria for decision making is the next step once the problem is identified establish decision making criteria the second step in the decision making process determining which factors will have the most relevance in the solving a given problem for example in the nutrient analysis software to be upgraded the second stage says the list required and desired specifications for nutrient analysis software the third step of decision making process once we have identified the specifications the decide the priority of this specification that means which is at the highest priority and which is at the lowest priority and then assign a corresponding weights to each specifications weighing the decision making criteria the third step in the decision making process assigning each established criteria or specification in our example a ranking in terms of importance to the decision that is to be made the following table shows the corresponding specifications and added weights to it for example the criteria food in database required in nutrient analysis is having the highest priority this ingredients of foods in the date in terms of database has the highest priority so out of 10 the weights assigned are 10 second specification is the nutrient in the database must have 
the second priority which is equally important as the first one so out of 10 10 weights are assigned then third is add foods receipts internal internals sorry internals it requires the third priority which is nine user friendliness eight weights are assigned speed of the software seven points price of this software six points are assigned upgrades customer support five weights are assigned site license four weights are assigned customized reports two and handheld version with interface is having the lowest priority so weights are assigned one the next stage in the decision making process is developing alternatives identifying alternatives the fourth step in the decision making process the act of determining the different options available to solve the problem at hand see in every problem solving there must be a different ways to solve that problem so these different alternatives can be generated and these alternatives we have to analyze and one alternative which is most suitable that we have to select in this stage the example for our nutrient analysis software upgrade is the research available software packages means what what you have to do you have to upgrade the nutrient analysis software so find out which are the vendors are there who provides this nutrient analysis software what are this latest version consist of the various parameters or specifications required for the best option the next stage is analyzing or analysis of alternatives once these alternatives are with us the next stage is that analyzing these alternatives the fifth step in the decision making process the process of comparing and examining the alternatives available by measuring them against the same standards using only relevant criteria in the previous step we have whatever the parameters we have identified we have given the pri priorities to each parameters and then we have assigned the corresponding weights also once it is finalized then you have to compare the all different vendors or all these different softwares available in the market for the nutrient analysis with respect to these parameters and weights and then you have to make a comparative matrix so that we could able to reach to the which alternative is the best this corresponding table shows this criteria matrix analysis of criteria for choosing a software nutrient analysis first column says criteria and in brackets corresponding weights assigned as per the priority the uh, parameters are foods in database nutrient in database add foods recipe intervals then use user friendly speed price upgrade or customer support site license customized reports handheld version and interface like that in bracket its corresponding weights are given now we have three alternatives option a option b option c or you can say these are the three nutrient analysis softwares by different vendors okay or the companies which is having these software pack packages what the option a says the option a says for the given parameters it is having the some scores like option a is having 90 points for the first parameter foods in database option b is having point 100 for the same parameter foods in database whereas c is having 80 points for the same food in database parameter likewise for every parameters these calculations are done and inserted in the 
column of option A, option B, option C. And at the end, if we take this addition of scores column wise, then option A reaches to 479 points. Option B reaches to 467 points. Whereas option C reaches to the 532 points. Now, what is total of these three alternatives suggest? That is choosing an alternatives, making the decision. The sixth step in the decision making process involves choosing which alternatives will be best solve the problem based on the analysis that has been done. So our matrix shows that three different scores of option A, option B, option C. What it suggests the option C is most suitable alternatives because the total score is largest compared to the B and A. So in this stage choose software package or the company of alternate uh, of what you say the manufacturing or developing the nutrient analysis software by the option C because the score of C is highest amongst these three. Now the next stage comes implementing the decision. Implement the decision, the seventh step in the decision making process, the act of carrying out the decision that has been made often involves communicating exactly what is to happen based on the decision. In our example of neutral analysis, example, purchase and install software, train dietitians to use it, enter the data, etc. Dear students, once we have selected option C, that option C is implemented, then the users are trained how to enter the data, how to use it, that is the stage says in the implementation. Then once it is implemented, then the last stage comes, the evaluation stage. In this evaluation stage, what decision we have implemented by means of options 3 as alternatives, once it is started using, then how this software is effective, efficient that we have to identify. The eighth and last step of the decision making process, receiving feedback about the decision that has been implemented about the option C in our case. Was it effective, efficient, appropriate and adequate? In the example of neutron analysis software, we should ask did the software upgrade improve efficiency, quality patient service, etc. So these are the various steps of decision making process and it should be systematically logically ordered. Once it is in decision making process is used systematically with these all steps then definitely the organization problem can be solved in a systematic and logical manner. Thank you.